Yo, what's happening guys? My name is Beastie and welcome back to the channel and today, ladies and gentlemen, we are returning with another reaction video on this channel. Now listen, I'm gonna go ahead and try your all suggestion. We have a webcam this time instead of, well not a webcam, we have my camera obviously, but we have, but instead of me having just the, you know, the video in the corner and my full face, I'm gonna put myself in the corner, if that makes it, you, you'll see in a minute, you'll see in a minute, so. If you like this one better, leave a comment down below. Also, we're going to be watching a video entitled Top 10 Most Disgusting Hotel Rooms by a channel called Trend Cave. So if you guys want to go subscribe to them, uh, actually scratch that, go sub to them. They have amazing content. It would really mean a lot to me. And if you enjoy these videos, leave a comment down below because uh, I have a lot more I can react to. But without any further ado, the top most disgusting hotel rooms in three, two, one, by the way, the link's in the description for this video. Zero, one, disgusting, whatever. Okay, so here right. we go. And in the number 10 spot, we've by the way, skipped ahead to hotel this. hotel because his car had broken down, and this was the only hotel within 30 miles, so he's pretty oh, much forced to stay situation. here. But uh, the carpet in this place is just absolutely nasty. It's just disgusting, and so is the bathroom. Uh, the first thing you notice when you walk in is the carpet. Oh, my God. That is... That is probably the most disgusting thing I've ever seen. And that's not Look at that just carpet! That. It's almost black! Oh, I, I know what happened. I know what happened. This dude had to take a fierce shit. I'm talking about he had diarrhea. Liquid diarrhea. And he couldn't even make it to the restroom and he shit his pants all the way to the bathroom. I, that is Some disgusting! Stuff going on that's normal. That's just, uh... Oh my god, yeah. that's gross! What exactly is that? Oh yeah, that? that's diarrhea. And how can't it be cleaned? That is disgusting. Know. There's the first bed, which is He's got his bike on his bed. Bike because I'm afraid to actually put my bike. <laughs> okay, so the floor is so gross that his bike is safer on a bed than being on the carpet. That's really on bad. The floor shower, but here's the uh, the best part of the room. Oh, okay. Uh, oh my god. And some insulation. Yo, listen, hotel you should never let a customer come into your room if the damn ceiling's not there. I wouldn't, I wouldn't, I wouldn't stay here. I would not stay there. I would walk down, put my hand out, and they'd be like, wait, what? What, what? What's your hand out for? Put my money back in it. I'm not staying. I'd be afraid that I'm in the shower, butt-ass naked, and a spider drops down from up there. By the way, I'm pretty sure that's the wrong type of tiling for the ceiling. I mean, in school, those, if they get a little water on them, they fall to the ground, and you're going to put that above a shower? I'm sorry, I won't interrupt too much. So I, I came oh, that is disgusting! Just this one hole, but there are in fact two. Two. And the second one. Is and that looks so moldy and dirty. Moving on to number nine, we've got a YouTuber named Dan Bell. He's been in a couple other of my them? videos, but he well, usually Bell, does oh. like exploring creepy places and stuff like that. But this time, like he's staying inside Josh of a better. hotel with one of his my friends. My voice just cracked. He noticed that this room was just messed up because there was a ton of roaches inside of there. The roaches were the big thing, and then the room was just generally not very clean. And then there was also signs <sighs> of bed bugs. So, uh, you bed know, I would have gotten out of there oh. pretty quickly. Oh, yo, what happened here? It looks like this. Some dude rubbed his asshole up against the end of the bed. Is that poop? And it looks like he peed on the left side. Oh God. I'm sorry, but I am never going to go on vacation because I I couldn't stay in a hotel room. Oh my god, Ew, that's gross. look at that. Ew. Oh yeah, he that's peed on the side of the bed. Wait a minute, what is all these little things here in the bed? Are those bed bugs? Do you see that? Yeah. <laughs> hey, look at the hair. Yeah. Okay, but that's not the worst of it. So, the reason we started looking... That is looking disgusting. ...was because Will said, What are those bugs over there? Look. Oh my god, that's this. as big as the tip of a pin. The head of a pin, whatever. The top. Just crawling around oh. my skin. Listen, hotels. All you need to do is go down to Walmart, ask them where their bug bomb is, and then bomb the room. You're, why are you going to let a customer walk into your hotel room and see a disgusting room full of bugs? Are you that crawling. stupid? Oh, Just yeah, kill yourself. I mean, that's so dumb. In, they're crawling in the, the fridge. Is it the fridge, too? <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> oh, there's dead roaches. There's dead roaches. Oh! Look. Ah. <laughs> Did somebody jizz like on the a floor? Horse came in here and ejaculated <laughs> on the floor. Exactly. Oh, that I is gross. Rate, this one doesn't involve a super dirty room altogether, but it does <sighs> involve one little cleaning thing. And you know how sometimes some hotels 
uh, you know, they put out like glasses or mugs next to the coffee machine and stuff like that that you could. Okay, if you don't know what he's talking about, a lot of hotels will put a glass, like a, a glass to rinse your mouth out in if you're brushing your teeth, or they'll put a couple glasses and dishes next to, sometimes they have like a little counter with a, you know, hand washing station in the hotel or something like that. They'll lay those out for people, and then a lot of times they'll put complimentary items in the refrigerator. I learned the wrong way never to trust those. I'm not going to tell you how, but just know, if I ever did stop at a hotel room, no way I'm touching any, of, the, any of that because other people well, can get it. Well, the thing about this is, is it's going to show how some hotels wash this. I know not all hotels are going to wash it like this, but, you know, after seeing this, I don't think I'm ever going to use one of those ever again. I don't think I'm... I've seen some of the people clean hotels and uh, they don't, they don't, they, they don't. There, there is no cleaning. They, they, just, they just before, don't do it. Never going to use them. We're setting up hidden cameras again. I was just wondering if someone could come clean my room. So we can see what's going on when we're not there. <laughs> Nothing's gonna happen. Cause last year there were some surprises, like this glass being washed with dirty gloves and placed back in the room. That was the Sheridan. Oh, that is so disgusting. That is so, oh my God. You know what people use that for? Okay, you know what hotels are, right? You, you, know, you know what goes down in hotels. Some, you know, some bitch comes in after giving a blowjob to a dude, got cum in her mouth, goes over there, uses that to wash her mouth out after brushing or something. Hotels are disgusting, and you're going to go in there and just hand wash that? Are you kidding me? I Listen, I am, oh my God, that is disgusting. Why not just wash it in a dishwasher? You know what people do in hotels? Yeah, after an orgy, go in there, brush your teeth with that. No, thank you. I would rather just thought, What's going oh on God. this year? More. You gotta use hand soap. Actually, scratch it. She didn't even use anything. You're just gonna wash it off with water? Her oh. washing in the sink. This time at the Royal York, another higher-end hotel. In the number seven spot, you know how- If this happens in a hotel room where it's critical to have a nice room for people to stay, imagine what it's like at somewhere like, like a, a restaurant where people don't judge you based on the accommodations because you're just there to eat. How do they wash? Oh God, I'm never eating out. I said at the very beginning. I'm gonna ruin video, everything for myself this watching this. Right, creepy. Well, uh, this is one of those. And basically, what happened was, Inside Edition was doing this story with his family who inside had found edition. a camera oh, hidden inside of their bathroom. So a hidden camera. And apparently, this is more common than you might think. Like, why would you need a camera in the bathroom? What? Oh, the hotels are scared. Somebody's gonna walk in and steal their toilet steal their tub like some people just fucking get a kick out of this really fucking perverted cunts oh, i guess you could say just put it's not the hotel it's hotel people oh okay stuff like that and it's so weird you know obviously they went to the police and stuff like that but it didn't do anything this family says they found you're gonna spy on these people taking a shower oh, oh boy you're gonna get to see a lot of stuff and most of it's gonna be a dude's hairy butt oh. a hidden camera in their hotel room I knew it was not supposed to be there. Somebody. No was shit, Sherlock. There. Angela Wallace, her husband, and 11 year old daughter found a camera like this in the bathroom pointed at the shower. That is the creepiest thing I've ever heard of. Oh, this video is ruining life for me. Every time I think about vacation, I'm not going to think about, oh, where am I going to stay? Will it have a nice view of the ocean? Will it have a jacuzzi? I'm going to be thinking, oh, is there a hidden camera to look at my hairy butt when I get in the shower? Are there bed bugs? Has somebody washed their blowjob mouth off in one of the dishes or something? Oh, God, oh. this it is so creepy. The Nights Inn and Suites in Virginia Beach. I stayed at Virginia once with my family. Oh God! Oh. In and out of the shower, or if you're using the restroom, you're going to be exposed yes. through that camera. Police say video was recovered from the camera. So That's so creepy. The Wallaces thought there'd be an arrest. That is until they learned what police told us. There was no information recovered from the device that could lead to criminal charges in this case. The case has since been closed. Are you kidding me? No. You mean we've got a techie peeping Tom over here trying to look at some butt and he's not going to get arrested? Oh my That's God. The statement we just... What, my question is, why would you do this? There's an internet full of pleasurable items. I, that sounded really weird. There's an internet full of stuff you can look at if you're weird or feeling horny or something. Why, why put a camera in a hotel room? Are you kidding me? Most of it's just fat, stupid people, you know, just on business trips or something. Oh, imagine how weird it would be. You go back, play your footage back. You're like, ooh, am I going to see a model? In oh, oh, God, that's a guy's hairy butt. Yeah, I, do I don't know what you expect to find with that oh, type of camera me. footage. Moving on to number six, we've got another Inside Edition one. It's amazing and, the police didn't you know, arrest Inside that Edition guy either. For some reason, has this fucking fetish with doing all these hotel videos. 
it, it's just because they did one and they did really really well and now it's they're true. just like okay let's just keep on throwing these the fuck out it's like there people found the 1000 degree knife i don't blew blame up. them okay uh but this one is just kind of a hotel room that was around the super bowl because basically when a hotel is around like where the super bowl is played whatever stadium it's at uh they hike the prices by like four to like ten fucking times where i am we had uh big games around my college campus and uh People would rent out their parking lot, their parking spaces, even their garage. They would rent this out for like $500 and people would pay for it. So it's kind of crazy. A $60 hotel room can sometimes cost you like three or 400 bucks. And this room was just nasty. They're charging $600. That's about six times the normal rate. Behind this table. Oh, gross. Are those hypos? <laughs> Used Q-tips. Oh my God, are those toenails? Oh, those look like onion rings. Oh, so wait a minute. What's going on here? Who decides to clean their ears out next to the bed or on the bed and then throws it behind a dresser or a nightstand? Oh, People are weird. Toenail clipping. Uh, but it gets worse. Check this out. Is that out. glass? A huge shard of glass right behind the headboard. Why? And then there was this. Hypos. When we moved this piece of furniture, we found a syringe. This My question is, what what type of person stayed in this hotel room? They shot up drugs, they decided to clean out their ears, and then they trimmed their toenails. That sounds like a great party to me. What's the point in shooting up if all you're gonna do is lay in bed and do body work? This place was so People are gross, weird. I didn't even want to put the phone to my ear. I don't know why. Come on, it's kind of just a, a phone. I'm sure nobody said, uh, had jizz on their hands the when they died. The next day, and I had to record Maybe. this because when he went into this room, he noticed that there was a couple roaches. Uh, there was one oh, that you just can a see couple. in the video for sure, and also the bathroom toilet was just really just messed up. I already have fear of public toilets. This is probably gonna make it worse. Since I've been to Texas. That's the, uh, Get the and oh, what in the world is that? Oh yeah, is that mold? Are those roaches? Is that shit? You're supposed to shit in the toilet, not on it. Somebody has a problem. Oh my god. Oh, I feel you, dude. Oh. A toilet lid is a few dollars. You can walk down to Lowe's and buy one for probably 15, 20 bucks. What's wrong with you, hotel? Are you really that stupid? Listen, what happens, hotel, when somebody walks in, finds a toilet covered in shit or mold or bugs, and then they pull out their smartphone, take a video of this, and it goes trending on Facebook. What, what do you think is gonna happen to your business establishment, huh? Are you really that stupid? Oh, I could definitely run a hotel way better than these smucks. I could definitely oh. run a hotel better than most people. Oh my God, dude. I would not trust my ass to be on that. Oh. In the number four spot, we've got another inside oh, of this one I know. But, uh, this one is just kind of a little thing where they show that a lot of hotels don't actually change the bed sheets for new guests. I know so this one. Like, I know this one. a thing with a black light. I made a video on it. Spray something on it that allows them to notice it. You'll see what I mean here in a second, but it's actually kind of gross because imagine just I love the Battlefront gameplay in the background, by the way. The bed that somebody topic. had just fucked Fun on game. the night before, okay? Just imagine that, okay? And each time we sprayed yeah, this, I made a video on this washable fluorescent paint onto the bed sheet using this stencil. Now, bear in mind, this is a very upscale hotel. Like, most people would not stay in a hotel that costs a lot of money, especially yours, Shirley. I'm kind of cheap. But this, this is supposed to be luxurious. And then. You can't tell anything is written there, but. You turn find on out our it's UV disgusting. Light. And presto, there it is. I slept here glowing. Instead of I slept here, I put a cock and balls there. At the Candlewood there. Inn and Suites in Manhattan, I'm weird. we sure left our mark. Oh, wow, there it is. I slept here nice and big. Then we checked out. It should have been clear to any maid that the bed had been slept in. The next day, we booked the exact same room, but under a different name. I made it for you, sir. Let's see. And then? Disgusting. These sheets are dirty. Look at this. You gotta stop and think. Somebody's in that bed, butt ass naked. You know, maybe a dude's sitting there naked. Maybe there's an orgy happening. Tons of body fluids being thrown all over the place, you know? And then, I don't even know. Why would you walk in and see that bed and be like, okay, 
Doesn't smell like shit. Must be clean. Throw the covers back on it. I, I don't even know what's wrong with people. If you see a bed in a hotel that's that, that's obviously been slept in, clean the damn thing. What if it's me in bed butt naked with my armpit on the, the pillow sheets and all you do is just throw the covers back on it, huh? The people that work for hotels are soulless bastards. I mean, come on. You know what people are doing? They're getting in buttholes over there and you're not cleaning that stuff? That is just absolutely infested with bed bugs. Like, oh, no, it please. is so nasty. And how no. this didn't like get brought up like months beforehand when it started happening because uh, you can just tell from the bed and everywhere throughout this entire room that there's bed bugs all over. Uh, it just baffles my mind. Like, how long does this take oh! to notice that you have a problem? That's what I want to know. I don't think they. That looks like mold. Are like, those all bed bugs? I don't think this we need a dog. Never for this. called the office. They've never one time called the office, so this is new to everybody. Look at the feces. Oh my Dude, god! For months and months and months. You got one job, hotel. One damn job, and that's to keep the room clean. You're, you're getting paid bank. You're getting paid tons of money to simply have rooms available for people, and you can't even keep it clean? I am never going to stay oh in a hotel room gosh. unless I become rich and I can afford to live in an RV when I go on vacation. I'm not staying in a hotel. Oh, God. How many times have people accidentally slept on jizz or, or somebody peed the bed and, and didn't know it? Oh, God. This is the stuff that nightmares are made of. Look at all this it's like on. fear factor, you know, you know when they the lowered you down into the uh, thing of the coffin of all bugs. Only the difference is here, it's a bed a in a hotel room and you're not being like lowered, you're volunteering to sleep in it. New Year's celebration type vacation type thing, so, you know, they were pretty excited for it. And when they got to their hotel, this, like, room was just completely infested with bed bugs. And they were crawling on their sheets and that kind of stuff, and it was located in Manhattan, so... Here's the clip. But a California couple shot a very different video of their New Year's vacation in New York. I flipped the bed over, which I'm gonna do now. Brace yourself. Look at this. They say the mattress in their hotel oh room my. was crawling. That is so, oh, About that is disgusting. Right there. The boyfriend described the horror. Bugs the size of your pinky nail. Check out the bites on his girlfriend's body. Oh, she that is, oh. Rash. All down her arms. And fun. You mean she got bit by bed bugs? Okay, I'm pretty sure I would sue that place instantly. That is, oh, that is so gross. Spot. Again, this you can buy bed, you can buy bombs to kill off bugs. One spot. Uh, but this one involves it's not a that wife hard, and a really. husband who took care of this hotel. I think it was like the manor hotel or something like that. And these two people, more the husband and the wife, bring Creeper to a whole new fucking level. Like, Creeper. it is crazy what they've done. But... Basically, there was this Let me guess, they have set up uh, hidden cameras somewhere? Hotel rooms that they could see through the vents and look down at people. And they spied on thousands of people. When it comes this to old hotel man? lawyers, this guy may be the world's most notorious. How many people over the years were you able to spy on? That is the creepiest looking old man I've ever seen. By the way, why does he have so many Marilyn Monroe stuff in the background? What is wrong with this dude? Look at him. Oh, you mean this dude was creeping on people in bed? Oh, hell no. If I see a guy like this in my room, I'm going to kill him. I would say it would be thousands. Thousands of oh, people. Oh, yes, thousands. When Gerald Foos owned the Manor House Motel you are in Aurora, so Colorado, perverted. he built a platform above the rooms where he would spy on unsuspecting hotel guests through vents. He got away are you kidding decades, me? and his wife, Anita, even joined in. Do you feel guilty now at all? Somewhat, yes and no. Perfect. Somewhat? Okay, so you're telling me that somebody's in bed, maybe doing stuff, maybe not, just in bed, and you're over there in the vents taking a peep, huh? You know how, oh my god, you know how creepy that is? An old man up there stroking to me, looking down in bed at a couple of people. Oh, that is so creepy, oh my god. If I'm in bed, you know, and I look up and I see an old man over there, <laughs> I'm gonna go and I'm gonna break his legs and arms and leave him in the desert to die, oh my god. This is creepy. The husband actually kept detailed notes, which served they as took the basis a journal of what's going book, on. The Voyeur's Motel by renowned writer Gay Talese. Gerald, are you a pervert? No, I don't believe I am. Some oh, really? Would look at you That's glasses. They're from the 70s creepy. as well. I never started it out thinking in my mind it was creepy. Oh, so you have a problem. I okay. thought it was voyeuristic and voyeurism. So you really? feel badly about what you've done. I guess you can say I don't. I guess Those you don't. Clips that I have for today's video. All right, so that's the end of the video. Listen, old man, if I catch you looking at me, I'm going to smash your nuts with a sledgehammer. Oh, that has got to be the creepiest list I've ever seen in hotel rooms. That's why I'm never going to stay in one. If I find myself in a need to be in a hotel room, 
I'd rather sleep under a bridge because that's just not happening. Hopefully enjoy the video. And uh, again, if you have anything you want me to check out in the future, leave it down below. But again, I will never stay in a hotel room. If you ha ever have a need of a hotel room, just don't do it. Sleep in your car. It's a lot safer. At least you know what's been jerked off in your own car, right? At least we'd hope so. Hopefully enjoy the video and peace out.